Supreme Chancellor Obi Wan Kenobi by Stone Freak. Chapter Eight: The Inauguration. No, absolutely not. Obi Wan refuses to even look at the dreadful robes the aides are holding out to him. Gaudy monstrosities and horribly unsuitable for a Jedi to wear. But. Chancellor, please, it's traditional for the Chancellor to wear robes like these. They should be in your size. No, Obi-Wan interrupts the A before he can finish. I am a Jedi, not a politician. I was voted in because I am a Jedi and not a politician. I absolutely and adamantly refuse to look like a politician. Anakin the asshole is in the background trying to check out giggles. Figures that he finds this funny. Obi-Wan sends him a sour look before he notices that both Padme and Bale have the expressions of people well-versed in the art of looking neutral while laughing on the inside. All his friends are assholes. I am a Jedi and as such I will wear Jedi robes. These robes you're holding are absolutely unsuitable. I am still a general and a Jedi. I cannot be hampered by my own clothing. If he hadn't had years of practice in staying stoic and projecting serenity, he probably would have seemed more than just slightly annoyed. As it is, Obi-Wan just barely keeps it together. He understands that they think the inauguration ceremony is important, but Obi-Wan cannot actually care less right now. They voted him in as a Jedi Master, and he will do his duty as a Jedi Master! Obi-Wan looks at the clothes left out for him for his inauguration. He's been betrayed. They are Jedi robes, just as he demanded, but somehow, somehow, the aides and senate workers have managed to convince the Jedi to allow a tailor to alter some Jedi robes. Gold trims on the cloak. A blue that looks uncomfortably like his own eye color, having the cream-colored over tunic. That same blue for the OB. Black boots shine to perfection. Gold on the utility belt. Gold trimming the edges of his high-colored under tunic. Gold on Jedi robes. Has the rest of the council lost their minds? Is this payback because he refused to answer when they called him during his? Time of peace and solitude? He's horrified. It's ridiculous. He cannot be seen wearing this. Of course, it's not like he has a choice when one of the aides must have snuck in and stolen his old set of clothing while he was in the fresher. As much as he absolutely does not want to wear them, he's verging on being late and he certainly cannot go through the inauguration naked. With a despairing sigh, Obi-Wan begins dressing. He stands in the middle of the Senate chamber, head held high, dressed in Jedi robes with gold and a shining sort of blue on them during his inauguration. There are hollow cameras everywhere. He knows a video of his inauguration is being projected throughout the Republic. If this is the image that he'll leave behind in history books because there is little chance that him becoming the Supreme Chancellor of the Galactic Republic from this sort of upset will be left out of the history books of the Republic, then Obi-Wan will feel ashamed long after he passes into the Force. He's sure of it. But he will do his duty with a calm face and an air of serenity. He will. If Yoda cackles, one more time, Obi-Wan will force push him off that upper chair of his.